Born in Amsterdam in 1923, Dicky was a national ice hockey star at just 16. But when Germany invaded the Netherlands, his life changed forever. Are they the barracks on the left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly women here. On this side? Yeah. Dicky survived before making an incredible journey across Europe to be reunited with his mother and grandmother, who'd been hiding in an attic for the past three years. They were still sitting there. And they were very happy to see me. And you to see them on oh. the That was amazing. Who am I? My name's Mac Lyon. I'm a storyteller from Brisbane, Australia. Fate brought Dickie and I together two years ago. His cancer had just returned for a third time. Doctors had given Dickie months to live. When I first heard his story, I knew the world needed to as well. And that's been my mission ever since. The Flying Dutchman podcast that chronicles his life has now been downloaded more than 30,000 times by listeners from more than 35 countries. Since it launched, Dickie's family and I have received countless messages from strangers calling for this series to be turned into a feature-length documentary. Now... With your help, we plan to make it happen. At almost 100 years old, Dickie will be making his final journey back to his home city of Amsterdam to celebrate this milestone birthday in June. But this is about more than just a celebration. It's about capturing the story of a survivor and sharing his wisdom with the world. I was given a life and I will defend it and I will do the best I can with it. And it's very precious. They can't buy health. His story is a powerful reminder of the harsh realities of our not so distant past and the important lessons we can still learn from them today. So far, this project has been entirely self funded, but we need your support to ensure that the Flying Dutchman's tale doesn't end there. To donate, head to storiestold.com.au.